All right, your name and title, first of all. Sergeant S. Wolverton, uh, Harris County Sheriff's Office Traffic Enforcement Section. Uh, spelling of the last name is W-O-L-V as in Victor, E-R-T-O-N. Uh, what do you have here? Just give us the basics. Uh, we had a uh, Crosby High School school bus uh, with the ninth grade girls basketball team. Uh, they left a basketball tournament in Liberty, uh, were on their way home. Uh, they were driving southbound on uh, FM 2100. Uh, there was a uh, Ford Explorer driving northbound on, on FM 2100, uh, approaching uh, a vehicle that was stopped to turn left on a, on a side street. Uh, as, it, as that Explorer uh, approached that stopped vehicle, it, uh, it didn't, didn't appear to slow. Uh, drove into the southbound lane and struck that school bus head on. Uh, the driver of the Explorer was pronounced deceased on the scene. The, uh, the school bus was, like I said, it had the ninth grade uh, girls, uh, Crosby High School girls basketball team, the coach, uh, I believe the coach's daughter, and the school bus driver. Uh, all of the occupants of the bus, I believe there were 12 occupants all together, uh, were transported by ground uh, to local hospitals uh, for precautionary measures. Uh, very fortunate that there are no life-threatening injuries on any of the occupants of the school bus. Any, any idea how fast? Either of the vehicles were traveling, or is it still too close? Yeah, it's still it's very early to tell, uh, and we'll have to wait till we reconstruct the crash, which could be it could be weeks. Like I say, this is we're we're just in the beginning stages of this investigation, and this investigation will take a while uh, due to it, it having to be reconstructed to be to be certain. Uh, the speedometer on the on the Ford Explorer is is currently at a reading of 63 miles per hour. Uh, However, after a crash, that's not always an indication of how fast they were going. It could be jostled. Uh, so, I mean, right now there's really no way to tell. Any indication uh, on either part of the, the, either the school bus driver or the explorer of any attempt to try to swerve and avoid this accident at the last second? Um, you know, I'd like to say, I, I, I don't know for sure. Uh, I don't know that the school bus driver had any time to react. Uh, you know, if the school bus driver is driving the speed limit, which I believe is 50, uh, 50 or 55, and if, if the other driver is driving 60, you're talking about 110 mile per hour closing speed. Uh, that doesn't give you a whole lot of reaction time. So, uh, uh, you know, just a very unfortunate accident. Uh, like I say, the driver of the, the at-fault vehicle uh, is deceased. Uh, so they're, they're, we're not looking at any charges on a school bus driver. It looks like the school bus driver did everything that he could do. Gender or age range on that driver, deceased driver? The deceased driver, a Hispanic male, uh, it looks to be in his late 40s or 50s, uh, just, just based on looking at it. Other than that, we have no identification on him at this time. Any indication of alcohol? Uh, none, none, no apparent uh, indications uh, other than, you know, he just, he, he, he took actions that, that obviously were not, uh, not prudent uh, for somebody that, that, uh, that's paying attention to what they're doing, so. No, no, there's no indication of, of any uh, pre-impact uh, braking at all. And two, two vehicles involved, correct? Correct. Okay. What can you tell us of, of what uh, the experience would have been like for the girls inside that bus? Well, you know, school buses aren't equipped with seat belts, so I'm sure it was pretty scary. Uh, Probably a fortunate thing is that most of them probably never saw it coming, uh, so their bodies weren't they weren't tensing up where they were trying to brace themselves. And, and you know, a lot of times in situations like that, that's where, that's where you get broken bones and, and what have you. So uh, that uh, the, the fact that they didn't see it coming may have prevented uh, them from being injured more uh, more severely than they were. They were almost home, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. But were they? Uh, was there blood? Was there broken bones? Was there you, you know, they were all transported by the time I got here. The deputy that, that, that is uh, my lead investigator on the scene uh, did see most of them. He said he didn't see anybody bleeding. Oh. So uh, it, it looks like uh, certainly no injuries that are life-threatening as far as broken bones and, and what have you. I, I really don't know of any. Uh, that's not to say that there aren't any, but I know that, that their injuries aren't so severe that we're having to be concerned about uh, about their, their future. That bus uh, looks pretty mangled, obviously. Were they able to just open the door and walk out, or was there some kind of extraction to get them off that I, bus? I see that the back door of the bus is open. I'm assuming they probably left it, left through the back door. Is that a Ford? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. No, the SUV, yes, it's Ford Explorer. And the vehicle that uh, the people that pay are, uh, so the vehicle that was turning left, what kind of vehicle was it? I believe it was a Ford Mustang, red Ford Mustang. It was stopped, stopped, uh, you know, yielding the right of way to the bus. So it was, uh, obviously the bus was close enough that that vehicle didn't feel safe to turn left onto that side street. Uh, so that tells you that, that uh, obviously there wasn't enough room for another vehicle to pass that that uh, that Mustang to the left. So there's a lot of wrecks up and down. You know, there are, but if you look at the road, it's a straight road. 
It's it's well lined. The the you know it's not like any any of the, the lane markers are faded. Uh, you know what makes highways dangerous are, are bars that serve their patrons too much to drink. Uh, not not to say that the guy's intoxicated. I don't know if he is or not. But uh, oftentimes, a lot of the wrecks we've had out here, most of them being hit on collisions because it's a two two lane roadway. Uh, I can count. I, I, I guarantee you, you can count on one hand how many of those crashes were not alcohol related. Most of them are alcohol related. Where was that red Mustang when it was time to turn left? Was it going in here or was it further? It was, it was turning on uh, Tall Cedars, I believe is the name of the street. Okay. There's a, a small side street just uh, just behind me here. So the accident, the impact actually takes place beyond the Mustang. Right, well, right, right close to the Mustang, yes. Close, but yeah. On yeah. South, right, south just, side just of south of Tall Cedars, right. The Mustang, Mustang wasn't still good to remember. No. Driver, driver. Uh, just that he was waiting to turn left, and that the other vehicle started to pass him to the left. Male driver, female driver. I don't know. I don't. Know.